Get out. That is the cutest robot I've ever seen in my life. This is so cool. I can't. Hello, everyone. My name is Video Games, and we are playing some more Coral Island today. So I have a to-do list for today's video. We're going to buy some crops today, and we're going to plant them and water them. And then, of course, the big thing is visiting the mines. I do want to go fishing and see how the fishing mechanics are in this game, because we haven't seen it yet. Let's see. Weather forecast for tomorrow is going to be sunny and clear. Oops. Game of cones. What is this? Hello viewers, welcome to Game of Cones, a fight for the right to be the king of cuisine. This is like Game of Thrones. As always, our judge is the meanie with a heart of gold, Chef Gordy Ramses. Oh, because it looks like him too. I'm gonna go ahead and clear some more of this stuff because it's still pretty early and I can't really like go in anywhere right now anyway. So one thing is, what all do I need for this sap and any tree seed? Oh no, we only have two. Dang, how hard is it to get tree seed? I want to go to Sam's General Store and I want to get some seeds so that we can go ahead and plant them. So the museum is open. This was not open before. And I'm wondering what it looks like inside. Oh my god, we haven't met her. Yes, I've been wanting to meet Alice so badly. Is that you, Kaylee? Wow, I almost didn't recognize you in that getup. Oh, so you're the one moving into the lot, huh? That would explain the outfit. Oh my god, everyone's in here. And then there's Ava, Queen. We don't have a lot of coins right now. <laughs> Maybe let's focus on getting turnips and potatoes. Oh, my inventory's full. Dang it. I do this every time. My toxic trait is forgetting to empty out my inventory because I just, I'm so forgetful. <gasps> um, hello? Taco? <gasps> now I need a cat named Butter and I need a dog named Taco. I have a chihuahua and his name is Pepe and we should have 100% named him Taco. Let's go ahead and get 15 and we're not gonna get a lot yet. We can only get six potatoes. Let's go to the museum. Oh, so there's just a little like donation bin that you can drop it off at. Oh, Scott's mad. Well, why do you keep pacing back and forth doing nothing? Oh, he's like stressing out that there's no donation. Scott, do you run the museum? Nope, they haven't magically returned. What? What are you talking about? Oh, hello there. You're Kaylee, right? I'm sorry you caught me at a bad time, but just look at this it's so empty my life's work <laughs> displaying nothing is so high concept it's great i appreciate you trying to make me feel better but let's stop joking around this is terrible not gonna lie when millie told me that the town was going to sell all of our collection i was furious it's not a feeling that i'm used to the one thing i was good at that made me feel useful it was going to be taken away from me i couldn't stand it but deep down i knew the town really needed the extra fund to clean the oil spill there wasn't much i could do about it so i went back to my folks to cool down and think about what i'm going to do next that's when I realized I had two options. Am I going to continue the pity party or am I going to rebuild the museum's collection now that the town is in an immediate crisis? We're going to rebuild it. By the way, Kaylee, I've heard some things about you. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not too bad at it myself, but I can certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? We have a list of items we want to display. Things like historical artifacts, fossils, critters, sea creatures, and so on. So would you like my fly though? Or is a fly not too extravagant enough for this museum? You can take my fly and my opal. Yay. Oh, look, and the, the little flies are inside. So we have spaces for little sea creator creators. Ooh, probably is for fossils and stuff. Well, we made our first donation at the museum. This is a great start. I donated a fly. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to go off of this one because there's already turnips growing in it. Oh my God, we're so low on energy already. We are not going to be able to spend a lot of time in the mines. All right, that took off all my energy. I am gonna take this candied seed, I guess, and eat it. It's already so late now. <laughs> Why? Yo, this looks so cool. You know what this reminds me of? Um, God, what is it? I'll talk about it later after this cutscene. Get back, get back! You, the weak looking farmer, get back! Get back from the mon- Wait a minute. Where are the monsters? I don't know, girl, you tell me! Who are you? Well, Mark and I did just clear the top levels out. Oh, you're Kira. Yes, right. But the quake, hmm. The shaking happened right after you entered, right? Yeah, what did I do? Set off a booby trap? There's an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name is Kira. I assume you're the new farmer? Yes, I am. Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. From there, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to other floors. You've definitely come to the right place to mine for ores and gems. These caves have them aplenty. Just don't forget they have monsters too. So where's my sword? Where's my weapon? I can't go in there. 
Without a weapon? Yeah, she gave me a sword. Take this sword. You'll need something to defend yourself with. Reach level five, earth shaft. Turn the elevator back on. All right, wait, this is really cute. I'm loving it. I'm not gonna have enough energy for this. I'm so sad. And it's also getting really late. We might have to come back. But honestly, I really just wanted to see what was up. Can I go fishing in here? No way, what can I catch? Oh, I see a shadow. There's a fish. Wait, what? Okay. How do I... What? I do not- Okay, I got trash. All right, we're gonna have to hurry on back to the farm, go to bed before we pass out or anything. Wait, a caterpillar. Yes! <gasps> we got it! What up? Oh, a hickory horned devil. Looks like the devil, but it's completely harmless. Now we really need to hurry. Oh my god, but I keep seeing stuff. Yes! We got a luna moth. Its wings are easily mistaken for leaves. Now, real business, let's go. <laughs> I keep getting distracted because I want to catch the little bugs. Oh! <gasps> Pablo! <laughs> okay. What could be better than a visit from your local blacksmith? Void around town is that you started to mine the earth shaft. That's actually why I'm here. As you mine, you'll come across ores. What good does that do to me? You might be thinking. Well, you can turn ores into bars. With enough bars, our shop can upgrade your tools. Work smarter, not harder, as I like to say. To make bars, you'll need a furnace, which you now can craft, courtesy of this blueprint. <gasps> Excuse me! You clown! So a furnace, we need more stone and more ore. So maybe when we go mining, let's just like go ahead and do all of that. Yay! Now we've completed the quest where we harvest our first crop though. Let's go ahead and of course water our crops before I forget. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the store, buy whatever seeds I can again, and then donate to the museum again, and then go straight to the mines after that. Okay, but the question is what crops do I want to get? Like new crops right now? And if I do i'm only gonna be able to get a few because they're more expensive okay mayor hey there kaylee it's good to see you here i'm just heading to raha's coffee are you out socializing yes by the way what's the puffer fish scene explain it yes explain the scene it's easier if i show you let's head to the community center and chat there my coffee can wait oh there's a community center here too oh see that big old f on the town rank yeah that's us it didn't happen out of the blue though the stream used to be the pride and joy of our town proudly displaying Starlet Town's A rank trophy. An A, Kaylee. Sometimes we got a B, but it was never an F until... Oh, this old man is gonna need to sit down and tell you what happened. That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season, we start by looking at why people visit Starlet Town. We can report that visitors come here to see your museum, heritage sites, and ocean. The town rank we award is based on the condition of these things at the time of review. Today, we're awarding Starlet Town with a rank of F. Yikes. That is wild, man. Say what? <gasps> Karen, you sneaky little turd. Listen, prepare all necessary documents and equipment. I found the perfect location. What a snake, bro. Last year, an oil spill from the neighboring island made its way here and wrecked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us this whole time. You heard what she said the other day at the new Pufferfish building? Their plan to bail us out is to rebrand Starlet Town as an oil town. Our town used to be good, Kaylee. Great even. Business was booming. The town, it was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town rank back to A and regain the trust of visitors, we'll have no chance but to work with Pufferfish. Oh, what are you seeing? Yeah, what is that? Is everything all right? I don't know. That stone was just like glowing. Oh, there's the doggo swimming again. There's a town board. The next birthday is going to be Paul's. And then on the 12th is Ollie and Scott's birthday. We don't even know who that is yet. And apparently we don't know who that is either. Pablo's birthday is on the 27th. Oh, hey, dude. We haven't officially met. Mom's thankfully right. I still can't believe that lady mentioned dad casually like that. Oh, yeah. She's a snake. So we got turnip. We got potatoes. So maybe next step we can do carrot seeds. Or should I, or should I get like... Uh, uh, no, I'm gonna stick with carrot. I don't even have Did I just sell it by accident? I just sold it by accident. What is wrong with me? I didn't even mean to click the Anyway, look at everyone doing yoga and the dog doing yoga with them Oh, uh, that makes me a little happier. Hey, okay, let's donate our luna moth and our horned devil. Yay Hello Antonio. Oh god. Ah, uh, the new resident. Yeah, okay. Bye. All right one Two. These are not the same crops at all whatsoever. I guess this is a good time to go to the mines again. Um, what is this? Are you a monkey? Hello? Yeah, there's monkeys around. That's super cool, actually. And that one's just floating. I love that. What? Oh, you can go down. What? Oh, that's freaking awesome, man. Jump in. Oh, it's a little darker in here now. <gasps> oh, it's a slime. Okay, let's see how the combat is in this game. Woo. 
Whoa, bro. Oh, goodness. Oh, are you throwing stuff at me? Don't do that. Don't throw stuff at me. Oh, and it drops wood. Okay, wait, that was, that was cool. Ah, oh, we got in again. Oh my God, are we gonna reach five, level five? I should probably move all my tools together so I'm not having to scroll around through my inventory like this. Oh goodness, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, don't, oh, I stepped in it. Gave me the hole, man. No, I don't have enough energy. Hopefully we can get a rainy day soon so that I don't have to worry about watering my crops. Awesome, farming level one. We got a plus one skill point and plus three max energy. And <gasps> yes, we got the makeshift scarecrow and fertilizer. Now we can grow it an explosive. Oh, what? What is this? You hear a voice, but can't make out what's being said. Try to focus on my voice. Good. Now listen closely. The sacred trees. Please visit any one of them. Oh, sacred trees. Oh, oh, that one's right by the mines. That one, I don't think I've seen that one yet, but I know one of them is by the mines for sure. Touch the tablet to summon them. You are my help to heal the island. Okay, so I guess new thing. We look for that sacred tree when we're on our way back to the mines. <gasps> we can harvest more. Yay. Oh my gosh. Is that a cabbage? What happens if I give someone a flower? Can I do that? Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks. Oh, I gave her a tulip and she actually liked it. What if I give a tulip to one of the boys? What? Oh, it opens at 12 today because it's a Sunday. What? Your cloak. All right, so Sunday is not the day. <laughs> let's go to the beach and let's try fishing for a little bit. Oh, everyone's at the beach today. How cute. <gasps> oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. A flyer. All right, here's another one. Oof. No, did I just lose it? Okay, I think I understand now. Trying another spot because the fish was not popping up. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see. I understand now. Yes! A mackerel. Wow, that's kind of hard. It's a little challenging. I'm not even gonna lie. There's more than one dog. Bon bon. Oh, you guys are too cute. Aw, he sings. Theo. No, I don't want to give you a flyer. That would be weird. So I'm going to try fishing over here in this spot by my farm. And then we're going to visit the sacred tree. And I'm going to wait to go to the mines tomorrow so that we actually have time. Because it is a little late and I don't I don't want to be rushed again. Oh, this is not a fish. That didn't even fight back. There we go. We got one. Got him. A shrimp. Oh, look that for a shrimp. I'm sorry, but a shrimp, I don't think it would struggle like that. Oh, we got another one. All right, we're almost there. We got it. Oh, a crayfish? It looks like a tiny lobster and lives in the freshwater. This is the one, the only one that I know about. I don't know where the other ones are, I forget. You don't understand what it says. <gasps> what? Oh my God, you're huge. No way, don't run away. No, where'd you go? Hold on, but I saw a mushroom over here. Nice. Where am I? I gotta go this way. I'm getting lost <laughs> already. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was that? Was that like a hint as to where that mythical creature just ran off to? Welcome to WBC. Tomorrow is gonna be rainy. Yes, finally, man. The lab is now looking for a suitable diving candidate. Yay! All applicants must conduct an on-site test for compatibility. Visit the diving pier for more information. Okay, perfect. Afraid I was when you summoned me, but open the path she has to my home. But this mean human must come visit me. Understand you will after meet how to heal island. Left of your farm, my home. If confused, look at your drawing I share. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's gonna sh- Get out of here, you clown! Yes, we got- Okay, it's a lettuce, not cabbage, but like, same thing, I guess. Inspect? You need a special key to open the cellar? Why did I not realize there was a cellar there this whole time? All right, let me water the crops. All right, where are we going? The left of the farm. Dang, I really need to clear this stuff out. This is really, really bad. Oh, it's gonna be hard to catch it. Oh, oh, I got it. It's a wasp. Ooh, dangerous when agitated. Keep back. Oh, there's a path here. See, I wouldn't have known that. That did not look like an obvious path to me. Human. <laughs> That's so cute. Hi, Chieftain. Thank you, Human, to come here. You're a, what are you? Goom? I, Chieftain, is giant. For long waited, I have for you. Come this way, look here. Soon you have these writings, but understand you do not. See you not power of shrines, but see you must. Key, they are to help goddess. Help goddess, then sickness gone. Time now for ceremony. Ceremony? Oh, I, oh my god, his footprints. That's a great detail. Hurt only a little, but open your eyes will. What? 
Okay, that was cool. See? Done so fast. Awakened, you have to power of nature. God is who? Sickness gone. You... God is who? That goddess must answer and not come from me. Ready you are to meet goddess. In Lake Temple, they're her home. Speak no more. Rest now I must after ceremony. Again, will I speak to you, human? Not now. Later. Goombye. Third eye. You've unlocked the third eye. You are now able to read and understand the language of old. Wait, do we have our geodes? Okay, we do have the geodes. Okay, so I want to get those geodes processed. See what we have. If it's anything worth donating, we're going to donate it with the rest of the insects and fish that we have. Okay, let's donate. Uh. Um, we got crayfish, we got shrimp, mackerel, and a wasp. Oh, look at a little shrimp here. That's so cute. Let's go back and get the geodes processed. What do we got? Ooh, okay. And... Ooh, okay. Definitely stuff we can donate. How much is it to upgrade? Oh, it's only 500? No, okay. But the decision is... No, you know what? I'm gonna wait for the bag and I'm gonna get the cauliflower because I, I want to crop these as soon as possible. Ooh, I don't think we've met you before. Oh, you're the new farmer. I was worried there for a bit about a potential competitor. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, it seems. Yeah, I'm not gonna be making wine. You're fine. All right, guys. I might go for it. I might give him the tulip. Oh, hey, thanks for thinking of me. As he looks sad and angry at the same time. Okay, but I want to visit the mines, like, at least a little bit. All right, back at the mines. Give me the hole. I don't have time. There we go. Yes. Oh, what is this? Hello? There we go. What? Inventory full? No. Okay, wait. Okay, look at us finding stuff. This is where we got... Oh, my God. Yes, we made it. We made it, guys. That was just my ultimate goal. Did I just miss a bunch of bronze that I could have mined? Yes, yes, indeed I did. But, so tomorrow we should probably visit the lake and see if we can find the goddess oh i never never planted my freaking cauliflower am i gonna have enough time yeah i think so maybe boom boom Boom. We made it. Okay, run. We have to go to bed. We're gathering at the lake tomorrow to celebrate the start of spring. The festival is a cookout potluck, so make sure to bring something yummy. Arrive between 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Oh, we can harvest all these. Yay. All right, let's go to the lake. Oh, that's a bug right there. Nobody, move. Oh, it's a snail. Bam. I only caught you because you go so slow. Here she is, the goddess. Kaylee, at last we meet, but I don't have much time. Did she just take me? I just evaporated. The altars. They will restore my power. Slowly I will heal the land. Start by completing an offering. Then I can bestow you on my blessing to travel between shrines. It'll aid your You can offer certain items to the temple to help heal Coral Island. No way. Can I offer you this snail? Because I just already have it. <laughs> okay, yes. Here's a fish. All of that for a shrimp again? That is hilarious. Okay, I grabbed it. A pus moth. Surprisingly fluffy. Okay, cute though. Go to the museum. Donate the pus moth. Oh, I forgot we have our little cool. Yay. Oh, what are we? Oh, Scott. You're about to be happy because I've been working hard to donate for you. <laughs> Maybe if we do this. Kaylee, come take a look at this. You see this? This is a blueprint for a bigger museum. No way. This is even... This is just the museum we start off with. The museum we have now is... Oh, it's kind of tiny, bro. It's kind of sad. It works, but can you imagine something bigger? Something more extravagant? Oh, that would be so beautiful if it looked just like this. Yes. Then there's another section where we can look at all the fossils. Oh, we can even have a bigger and better section for the ancient artifacts. But there's one big problem, though. What, the expenses? <laughs> the town just doesn't have the budget to build this museum, absolutely. At least not yet. So what if we raise the money to build it? By that, I mean I'm going to start a, a Kickstarter. <laughs> a Kickstarter campaign. That's adorable. I know what it is. I just don't know if you should run one. Why not? It's a great idea. Well, I'm doing it anyway. Based on my research, the most successful campaigns are those that already have some significant to show something to reassure the backers that they're backing a legit project if i show the empty museum in the campaign people are gonna think that the project is a scam or something now my dear hardworking kaylee this is where you come in now while you help us gather more artifacts i'm gonna go prepare other materials to upload the campaign page i'll scan this blueprint then i'll ask millie to write something awesome for the campaign oh maybe i should get lily to make us a website now go forth kaylee collect more items so we can launch our Kickstarter campaign okay so we need to donate 50 items and we've only donated 12 so <laughs> oh Oh, we never went to the diving pier. Can you please say that we can do that now? Diving, I'm coming. Ah, uh, hello there. I was just looking out to sea. Ever since the oil spill, people have forgotten about the ocean. Actually, that's not true. They still remember. It's just someone else's problem now. Someone else will fix it. 
their concern is enough. It's a shame because we can still do something about it. There's still time. Plus, all the valuable kelp down there is going to waste. By the way, my name is Ling. I run the lab in town. Thanks for showing up. So you run the beautiful lab that I absolutely fell in love with when I first saw. Here's the deal. You need a diving suit to get into the water and I need the right someone to activate my science down there. For now, let's do an exchange. If you can activate five solar orbs in the ocean, you can keep the diving suit. If you're able to activate one and let's assume something happens because something will, you'll also have questions, I'm sure, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Whatever happens, just know that the solar orbs are the key to restoring our ocean and healing the sick coral. Since I can't go into the ocean myself, you'll be accompanied by Kibble the Bot! You've acquired a diving suit you're now able to dive into the ocean beautiful <gasps> Get out. That is the cutest robot I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, this is so cool. I can't. All right, so there is a lot of trash indeed. Let's see if we can find these orbs. It's like mining, but you're in the water. Okay, bronze kelp. I wonder what we can do with that. I absolutely love the diving suit on her. That just looks so cool to me. Glass. We just found glass. Okay, I just cleaned all of that and nothing. Nothing. Oh, low stamina. No. That's so cute that he like knows. We gotta go. Where are we going? I'm not going the right way. All right, guys, I think this is a perfect place to call it quits for today's episode. We accomplished a lot, and next episode is going to be grand. We're going to be exploring a lot more with the diving, and we're going to help restore some coral reefs, and there's going to be a spring festival going on actually today, but I'm going to save that for next episode because I think that's going to be super cute, super fun. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and thank you for joining me on my coral island journey. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, I hope to see you on the next video. Bye!